Hi everybody, here's our contraption. We're using the RK55 Rule King tractor. We've got two trucking straps here, courtesy of TMC. Don't worry, they're not gonna miss it. They took enough money from me as a truck driver. And um, we've got some chains going around our bucket here. And uh, this is our little animal hauler, like I mentioned before, that we use in 4-H uh, ventures when the kids were little. Our oldest is now 30. Tommy's 22 and Liz is about to turn 21 and so um, it's been around for 15 17 years or so and uh, it's working great we just captured the mama before spot and now we've got pig pig in there which is the pig you're looking at and this is what we're using to get him out of here uh, Mary's gonna get a little footage of me lifting it up over the electric fence which we've turned off obviously and uh, it's not smooth, I'm not going to lie. A lot of homesteading, uh, including most, most I would argue, most, uh, even some of our favorite YouTube channels, which I won't mention right now, uh, that you only see the smooth side, right? Like our Facebook post, you only see the perfect day, the perfect pose, the perfect picture. So here's, the, here's what's going on behind the scenes. We're kind of letting you peek behind the scenes of the curtain of the wizard here. And uh, this is how stuff gets done. So is this perfect? Absolutely not. If someone else was doing it, I'd probably call him a dumbass. Uh, but since it's me, it's genius. <laughs> All right, everybody, here it goes. I'm going to get in the tractor, fire it up. Mary's going to get a little video, and we'll uh, catch you later. And there you have it, one uh, male pot belly pig ready to get out of that little box and into whatever else he can get into. <laughs> Till the next video, peace. Hello and welcome back to R33 Homestead. It is a beautiful Independence Day 2022. And what we have done, ladies and gentlemen out there in YouTube land, is we have just moved a pregnant potbelly pig who, according to my wife's birthing calendar, is supposed to give birth sometime this week. Actually, in two days of a perfect world. So again, sometime this week, we're going to have some baby pigs. We just moved Spot, who's the mama potbelly belly pig pregos uh with our homemade redneck contraption here and if you know what i look like there's nothing red on me um but anyway uh, uh and it worked um we had borrowed an animal hauler from our friend andy but we just couldn't get the pigs in there we didn't want to starve them out um for days uh because spot is pregnant so probably some bad timing on our part but live and learn um, but there's our hauler that we built about 15 years ago that we used to put in the back of our pickup truck that we have used for 4-h animals and uh, countless animal purchases animal hauling to and from the fair uh you name it we've hauled it in that little box and lo and behold that old 15 year old contraption has worked again today we got mama in there she's already bedded down in her new uh sawda or um wood chip bed and we are hoping to have some baby pigs here in short order um but this was something else folks we got some chains up here on the bucket on our utility tractor 
and we got some straps around this thing and i gotta say it is a piece of work <laughs> uh i i wouldn't want to uh, uh do this in front of anybody else i'm just going to show you after the fact but uh we just hauled that pig over from the woods uh in that thing with the tractor and it worked like a champ open up our green gate open up the gate on the the uh animal hauler box there and Mary and I plugged, kind of filled the void, and uh, now Mama's in there happy. We didn't have a miscarriage. It's always a little bit risky, a little bit worrisome uh, working with pregnant animals because, you know, you just don't want to, you really don't want to upset the Mama. I mean, just like humans, you want Mama Bear to be happy and content, and uh, she's she's back at it right now. She got some uh, uh, brownie treats from us and um, some leftover mcdonald's french fries from a road trip the other day that uh, i had forgotten in the back seat of my truck until i opened the door this morning and smelt mcdonald's fries and realized oh yes we didn't eat all those and uh so she's quite happy right now and calming down and uh nesting and that's exactly what we want her to do so anyway all is well here on the homestead um Hope everybody's having a wonderful 4th of July holiday, and uh, God bless you.